Welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. I'm Jimmy Joe. <sighs> Listening to some sad stories about a family that uh, we're getting to know quite intimately. I know we only have a few left. I know there's still Edie and... On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. There might she be... She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. There might be another one. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier oh, or yeah. harder. Oh yeah. Dawn, our mother. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Such a tiny room. Oh, I didn't see that before. What is that? Oh, Sanjay. I see. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe I should have come sooner. Got a duck. And a ladder. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. This might actually be the last episode. I forget when it ends, so... I think we're close, though. Yeah, we're... we're this will be the last episode, it looks the like. The whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Ugh. Family issues. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom set up the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. That is sad. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. But okay? I can't imagine how stories could kill so many people. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. We get to go to the house. There's been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Creepy. I got turned around. I don't 
don't know where I'm going. I started seeing things. Oh, dear. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. A bed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night. A lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? Aww. It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! I wish I could have. I, I wish I knew the end of the story of that. But Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. I can't imagine. Playing with the wind. We We both tried to make the best of it. I'm an airplane. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. <sighs> she got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. I was really confused at first. And I was I just hope like, never see it. "Why?" I just want to meet where, you. Where are we? And then and tell you all these stories myself. Just. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. We're being birthed. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. That's where the story ends. I was always wondering if this was a, uh, a true story or not. I wasn't sure. And at first I thought all of these people weren't actually like the creators or whatever they were just pictures of like the actual family but there are far more pictures than there are family so um it must just be like baby pictures or child pictures of the the designers and stuff which is pretty cool actually i mean it's a story about a family so 
why not put family photos up on the credits as uh, your ending? <coughs> like I said, I had played through this before. Um, I did really enjoy it. Uh, I think I missed a few things that I did last time, but um, overall, the, the story doesn't change all that much. Like everything's still the same. Um, there's just a couple more details that you could have heard, uh, but I, I wanted to share this with all of you because I thought it was a really cool story and it was it was told really well. So. It, it definitely gave me the feels, and even though I knew what was coming, it still gave me the feels. It was nice. So I'll just let the credits roll, and I don't think there's anything at the end, so if you like uh, what you saw, let me know. Tell me how it made you feel. I, I I really enjoyed this. Did you really enjoy it? Tell me in the comments. Um, did you get shivers from some of the things that have happened that you didn't know were coming? Hopefully I didn't spoil anything too bad for you. But yeah, let me know and leave a like on the, on the, uh, on the video. Um, try to come up with something else to play for next time. Um, if you haven't noticed, uh, Ashley or Lady Panther has been starting to play XCOM and we will have that up as a, another thing that we can put out, um, on a regular basis. As long as she can still record and get used to talking. I know it took me a while to actually just talk about stuff when I was playing games rather than just be quiet and concentrate on what I was doing. And she has a big problem with concentrating on what she's doing. So hopefully she can change a little bit, get some uh, good insight, and uh, someday I'll have her start to edit. But she's more of an artist than like a technical worker, so... But, uh, yeah, go check that out. Um, be grateful if you supported both me with my channel and her doing her own work uh, on my channel. So, yeah, check out some of the other series that I have on the, on, the, on the page and let me know what you think. I'm always up for constructive criticism on what you think I could do better or worse or... Stuff like that. But, the end. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.